We're at 212 Gallery tonight, and we're going to uh, be here at the opening of a show called Spill Crude Response. And we're featuring three artists whose work um, sort of speaks about the ocean and our environment. Uh, Aurora Robson, uh, her work is made from plastics that would otherwise go into the plastic gyre in the Pacific Ocean. And then Daniel Beltra, who was stationed in the Gulf. Um, he was stationed there about 10 days after the oil spill was announced. And he's really one of the only photographers who was there capturing and documenting. We have composer Kenji Williams, and he is performing in our upstairs gallery, our original space. And what he does is he takes footage from NASA and it feels like you're in the space shuttle, and he grabs this footage and he integrates um, photography, like from Daniel Beltra and from uh, James Baylog, and he integrates music, and we're flying over the planet looking at all the conditions going on in the planet in about a 30-minute show. Belagaya means beautiful Earth, and the genesis of the project was when I met an astronaut who lived in space for six months on the space station, and he told me of his transformative experience seeing the Earth from space. It changed his life. And I became very fascinated by this experience that astronauts have. And I thus began my mission of how to figure out how can I bring this experience of seeing the Earth from space to those of us who can't go to space. At the heart of the uh, context and the language of Bella Gaia is to uh, invoke an emotional connection and reaction to what you're seeing. And this is what I feel is missing in, in the environmental movement and progressive movements is a more uh, emotional and deeper uh, spiritual connection with our planet.